Moving on to other global news, South Africa has asked Taiwan to relocate its de facto embassy from Pretoria to Johannesburg, a move Taiwan blames on pressure from China. South Africa's government claims that the change is standard diplomatic practice since it cut off formal ties with Taiwan in 1997. But Taiwan accuses Pretoria of succumbing to Beijing's influence. South Africa's request came shortly after Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to Johannesburg for the BRICS summit, signaling a possible link with Pretoria's latest decision. Well, China is South Africa's largest trading partner and the relocation aligns with Pretoria's efforts to deepen its ties with Beijing, especially in areas like renewable energy. Taiwan's foreign ministry condemns the decision as of now, accusing China of using political and economic pressure to undermine Taiwan's global presence. The Taipei office currently in Pretoria will be rebranded as a trade office, again signaling a demotion in Taiwan's South Africa ties. Taipei is reportedly a mulling reciprocal action as of now, including relocating South Africa's office in Taiwan and tightening visa rules for South African travelers to Taiwan. The move could also affect bilateral educational programs that currently employ about 5,000 South African teachers in Taiwan. Well, this is not the first time an African nation has distanced itself from Taiwan. In 2017, Nigeria ordered Taiwan to close its trade office in Abuja, a move Taipei again said was driven by Beijing's influence and pressure. Taiwan, which maintains the formal diplomatic ties with only 11 countries, often opens economic and cultural offices when it lacks formal relations. However, Beijing continues to push nations globally to downgrade their ties with Taiwan, increasing the island's diplomatic isolation. While well, China considers self-ruled Taiwan as a part of its own territory, and has sought to reduce the number of countries that recognize its claim to statehood. China has also been conducting regular military drills around Taiwan, a move seen as intimidating tactics by Beijing.